another question. So we talked a little bit about how the product strategy and the the engineering organization evolved through this moment. When you think about your role as a leader and as the CTO, are there any lessons that you've been reflecting on from the last two years around leading through uncertainty or tumultuous times? Um, we talked a little bit about transparency and the impact that that has. Are there other lessons that come to mind from this particular moment? Yeah, I think one of the things that, you know, maybe it's obvious in retrospect, but I didn't I didn't expect it at the time was how much we were going to have to invest in getting our people through a really hard time. All the things that are going on in the world affected our people. Some of them affected our business, but all of it affected our people. When you think about, you know, political divides and racism, a pandemic, now a war in Ukraine, these things are just, they are, they're affecting our, our people. And this idea that, you know, people are experiencing burnout, that was really difficult, especially for people with young children at the beginning of the pandemic. And then it started to emerge that, a group of our folks that were struggling were the people who were maybe right out of college or earlier in their career and living kind of maybe alone in a new city and not being able to go into an office and not having chance to connect. And so looking for the groups, looking for the people who may need extra support and figuring out, you know, how can we as a company help those people? How do we get our team through a really hard time. So that was something that I, I really remember focusing on in the pandemic. It wasn't just our business strategy, it was also our people. Ali, I, I, I saw you, you resonating deeply with, with that point. Yeah, um, not only do I, I strongly agree with that perspective, but it's also the story of mental health as a priority for employers to provide to their employees. Um, so it very much aligns with uh, the growth that Modern Health went through during the pandemic as um, I think employers realized the importance that they played in the mental health and support of their employees on, on a larger scale. Um, I definitely personally view the pandemic as a moment of collective trauma um, and then there were many other things layered on top of that, which, you know, actually isn't that different from our normal experience in life, but it felt very compounded uh, with this broader event that we all experienced together. I think that because people spent a lot more time focused on work as well during this time, and that felt like their main support system, um, because that was one of the few groups of people that they were constantly connected with, um, I think it really highlighted the importance of people finding support in their place of work from their peers, from their manager, um, from other benefits. And, you know, I think that in the longer run that for, for the organizations that were able to do that, you know, that really paid dividends in terms of the engagement of, of individuals. Um, and also it was a way that I think a lot of companies were stepping up and doing the right thing to support people through a hard time. Um, so yes, great things with productivity and trying to make sure people can focus. But at the end of the day, um, that was a truly human moment as well um, for us to all see how you know, very, very closely how much work impacts someone's entire entire life. And I think um, there was a lot of pressure put on folks like us in, you know, in leadership positions to make sure our people were, were taken care of. Um, and that uh, that showed up in, in a ton of ways and changed a lot of a lot of ways that we might actually help one another, both from you know the benefit side of thing, also mostly just from how do we organize to ensure that people are are doing okay and we can help guide them on the right path if they are not. 